Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a different type of video. I thought this would be fun to share with you guys things that I personally was late to the bandwagon. There is a ton of makeup that I was late to the bandwagon, but these are just a few of the things that I want to share with you guys. Before I get into it, if you are new to my channel, welcome to the family. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you do like it, and let's get on with the video. So I have five products here today that I want to share with you guys so I don't make this video super long. These are products that have been on the market for a while or that a lot of people have been raving about and I just have been hesitant on trying them and then when I finally did I realized what the hype was all about. So I'm sure there has been similar videos with different titles of this but this is what I'm calling mine. So I'm going to get started on the five products that I have for you today. The first one is a beauty tool. This is something that I just recently discovered last year towards the end of the year. That is the L'Oreal sponge. I apologize mine is dirty because I used it today. But I just did not want to fall for the hype. I didn't really think I needed it. But after I realized that my Real Technique sponges were just dying on me quicker, I gave this a shot. A lot of you guys that follow me had commented down in the description box or the comment section that I should really try this. I was late to the bang, Megan. You guys, I really love these L'Oreal sponges. It made it to the best of beauty of 2017 for me. This is a great sponge. Don't hesitate if you are interested in this because this is pretty good for the drugstore. The drugstore has been really stepping it up when it comes to their sponges. And that is my first product that I have that I was late to the bandwagon. The following one that I have is a concealer and the reason why I hesitated is because I tend not to buy a lot of foundations or concealers due to the fact that they go bad quicker and I just don't want to hoard them. So this was a concealer that I panned last year into this year and I love it. This is the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer. This truly is great. If you have dry under eyes, this works great. It doesn't crease, gives you nice coverage, and you don't need a lot of product. And to be honest with you, this will last you more than six months. It takes forever to finish one of these up. It has a lot of product for the price. I love it. They have um, a decent amount of cover or uh, color range. And, and this does have salicylic acid, from my understanding, to help with any blemishes. So this is the next thing that I want to mention to you guys. The following product is a lip liner. These are the MAC Pro Longwear Lip Liners. I've heard how great these last on the lips, how long they last. These are amazing. And these are one of the best that I've tried in a very, very long time. I've had these for a while. These don't dry up on me. I've used these multiple times. And let me tell you, these will only come off with makeup remover. They do not get off at all. I swatch one and it takes me forever to get it off of my hand. These are really good. If you're looking for a long wear lip product, this is definitely something I would recommend. I, It doesn't matter what color you pick, it will stay put, it will last. Your lip product will fade away and this lip liner will be there the whole entire time. The next two products that I do have are, the sim are similar, but these two I've been on been late to the bandwagon and I love them both. The first one is just in general the MAC blushes. The MAC blushes were, are so so good. For a very very long time, I mean years, I saw, saw people rave about these but I just didn't feel like I needed to have them and then I finally gave in and my collection of MAC blushes has been ridiculous. I just love them. I have very oily skin and blush is the first thing that fades with my highlighter and I feel like these really last a long time. I don't feel like any of these are either too shimmery or uh, too much where I can't blend them out. These are the perfect type of blush. This one is just a mineralized one, but I can tell you the regular blushes, these blushes, any type of finish that they have, I've absolutely love. I've tried them all. I own a lot of them and I would definitely recommend these. These are actually some of the blushes that nobody really talks about anymore, but I was late to the bandwagon and I'm so happy that I finally own some. Last but not least is my Benefit Rockateur. This blush I cannot stop using. I only used this maybe once or twice when I first purchased it or it was gifted to me and then I never used it again and this year I've dabbled into it and let me tell you this I think has surpassed my Tarte Expose. I think I like this more than my Tarte Expose. The formula of this is really good is that gelée type of formula where it lasts on your skin, blends like a dream, does not accentuate anything and this color will go with any look 
you decide to do, whether it's a natural no makeup or a bold black smoky eye, this is your go-to blush. I'm so happy I finally jumped on that bandwagon because you guys, this has definitely stepped up to one of those like top five blushes that I love to see on my skin. It has taken me a lot to stop using it because I love it that much. So those are just five products that I was late to the bandwagon on. What products were you late to the bandwagon on that you finally decided to try and you absolutely have fallen head over heels for them? I could do a second part to this if you guys are interested. I will link all of these products down in the description box so you guys can check them out if you are interested in any of them. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys in my next video. And don't forget that a smile is the best makeup a girl can wear. Bye, guys.